Hello, this is Darren at Encryptomatic. Thank you for your interest in MSG Viewer. And what I'm going to do today is just give you a really quick overview and show you how to export messages to uh, image formats such as PDF. Well, the first thing you do when MSG Viewer is loaded is that you need to select from the, uh, the files uh, navigation menu, uh, you need to tell MSG Viewer where your MSG and EML files are on your computer. And once you locate that directory, it will read in the, uh, the messages for you. Well, after your messages are read in, they are going to display in, in a, uh, a list, and you'll be able to select them uh, simply by, by clicking on them, for example. Or um, another thing that you can do to select your messages is to check the uh, selection box. And I've just selected about uh, 16,590 messages. I know that because I can see it down here in the lower left corner. It tells me how many messages that it's found. But I can select all of those messages or I can select just, just a few of them. I can select them individually if I'd like. Well, once my messages are selected, the ones that I, I would like to export, uh, exporting is a simple matter. All you do is click on the button that says Export, and MSG Viewer will ask you to in input some information. For example, a destination folder is uh, where it should export the files that it creates. Where should they go? I'm going to select this directory called AA Test. We also have the capability to add a custom naming scheme to the exported files. So if you're working on a legal case, you can include the bait stamp uh, naming or numbering uh, system if you'd like. Today I'm just going to call it test dash and then increment my, my files beginning at number 1000. I can also select a number of different formats to export to. Uh, PDF is probably the most common and popular one that we have, but you can also select uh, from a number of other image formats or even uh, text if you'd like. Uh, MSG Viewer can perform a number of operations as it is processing the files and exporting them. For example, it can extract file attachments from the mail. It can include the name of the file at the top of the of the email that it export uh, on the top of the exported file. So this is very handy if you want the ability to reference the original file from within the image file. You can export messages with attachments to separate folders. Um, you can even copy any uh, messages that may be corrupt or if uh, MSG Viewer has any difficult difficulty with them, it'll copy those messages for you to a special folder so that you can review those messages manually later. After I've set everything up in the Export Manager, I simply select the Start button and MSG Viewer will read in the files. Now we, we test MSG Viewer, uh, its exporting capabilities on a batch of about 50,000 messages and we find that generally it takes about 40 minutes or so per thousand, which um, uh, it, it goes a lot faster if they're text messages, but uh, if they're HTML with hosted graphics, it tends to take a little bit longer but you should be able to export virtually any number of email messages from one to hundreds of thousands if you'd like. Alright, well we've exported the files successfully and I will close out of here. Okay, I've just opened up the folder where I have my emails that I have exported to PDF format and I only exported a couple of them but you can see they are uh, the fully formatted and uh, Go take a look at the other one here. And these were HTML formatted emails, and uh, MSG Viewer did preserve the formatting uh, in the PDF file that it created. So there you have it, and I thank you very much for your time.